no one was waiting for these shows to come back from the dead. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV revivals no one asked for. Love to, Riley, really would. Just one teensy little problem. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at TV shows that were brought back, or are going to be revived, despite a lack of popular demand. It doesn't matter whether the new iteration was, or is, successful. If the majority of people weren't exactly enthusiastic about the show's return, it will be considered for this list. Number 10. Fuller House DJ, we're still a family. And now is when we really need to stick together. A show about a widowed man raising his daughters sounds like dramatic television. Instead, Full House became known for cheesy dialogue and heavy-handed moral lessons. After ending 23 years ago, Netflix brought back the cheese with Fuller House. Instead of devising a new concept, the reboot is just a gender-swapped and sometimes shot-for-shot -shot remake of the original premise. Tommy, say hi to your Aunt Stephanie. In an era of unique and nuanced sitcoms, bringing this sappy house back onto the market feels unnecessary. But despite being roasted by critics, Fuller House is still going as of 2018. We're not sure who's still watching, but they should cut it out. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, they're a modern story family. Number 9. Magnum P.I. Did you see the sunrise this morning? Do we really need another detective show? Magnum P.I. followed a Navy SEAL turned private investigator who solved cases in Hawaii. Thomas Magnum, played by Tom Selleck and his mustache, entertained audiences for eight seasons. When news broke that CBS ordered a pilot to renew the series, without Tom and his iconic facial hair in the lead role, many fans were less than pleased. To make matters worse, Selleck is currently starring in the police drama Blue Bloods on the same network. It's not leaks to the press that I'm worried about right now. Adding yet another detective show to the mix just seems redundant. CBS may be better off sticking with the original mustache and reruns. You can't smoke here. I'm sorry, officer. How about if I just let her go out? Number eight, Charmed. When you find your path is blocked, all you have to do is knock. The original Charmed followed a family of witches who fought supernatural threats. After ending in 2006, the series became popular on streaming networks. All that binging may have motivated the CW to announce their, quote, feminist reboot of the series, complete with new main characters. The announcement drew criticism for implying that Charmed wasn't always about strong female characters. Holly Marie Combs, who played Piper, also criticized the reboot for building on the previous show's success without bringing back the original team. Between its PR missteps and lack of characters that made the show binge-worthy, this reboot is going to have a hard time recapturing the series' magic. Okay, this was all your idea, you know. Okay, well, so sue me. Number seven, Heroes Reborn. Save the cheerleader, save the world. We don't need these heroes to save the day. The original Heroes series got off to a strong start. However, questionable writing decisions and bad pacing led to critical carping and viewership numbers dropping. Something has to be done. Although it was canceled by NBC, the same network brought back the concept with Heroes Reborn. The comic book you love. Ninth Wonders. You have more in common with your favorite character than you think. The revival shifted its focus onto new characters that interacted with original cast members. But with the same creator at the helm, the series risked running into the same story issues as before. And indeed, history repeated itself with the reboot, with audiences tuning in at the beginning and jumping as the season continued. No! Number 6. Total Request Live for the next hour, giving you the top 10 most requested videos in the country. My name is Carson Daly, I'm the host. Nowadays, if you want to check out music videos, you just search YouTube. But before the site became popular, we'd tune in to MTV's Total Request Live. TRL brought us live performances, celebrity guest stars, and, most importantly, a music video countdown. As time marched on, TRL's ratings fell and the show was cancelled. Fast forward to 2017, and MTV decided to revamp the show with a social media countdown? And coming in at number three, it's of course the Dolan Twins who just reached 5 million subscribers Big on their YouTube! Neither the hosts nor the programming quite measure up to what made TRL entertaining. And even if they had brought their old format back, there are more accessible and entertaining countdowns on YouTube. Ah well. They said this would never happen, so we are gonna make it happen! Number 5. Dynasty. Carrington! You are not a guest in this country anymore. You are a prisoner of this revolution.
Dynasty was once a Golden Globe winning primetime soap opera about the misadventures of the oil rich Carrington family. But after a couple of rough seasons, the show was canceled on a cliffhanger ending. These people really are trying to kill you, aren't they? Yeah. After a 1991 miniseries resolved hanging plot lines, it looked like the oily drama had ended until the CW announced its revival series for 2017. Instead of continuing plot lines, Dynasty fans watched the show start from scratch, and judging by the reboot's mixed reviews and lagging ratings, newer audiences aren't exactly latching onto it. I realize that we aren't profitable yet, but we will be very soon. Despite all this, the CW has still ordered additional episodes in another effort to save this crumbling dynasty. Well, party's over. Number four, Party of Five. What about your folks? What they... Oh, right, I heard. In the 1990s, Party of Five focused on the life of five siblings after their parents are killed by a drunk driver. Freeform ordered a series reboot featuring five Latino children who live by themselves after their parents are deported. On the surface, this new concept seems kind of like the original. However, the heavy issues that come with deportation are different from the heaviness of processing the loss of loved ones. Yeah, well, you're being invaded. What else have you gotten here? This is so humiliating. Don't get us wrong. This project could be amazing and impactful, but with its significant changes, it should be its own program instead of a revival. That's it? Number three, MacGyver. Have you got a name? MacGyver. MacGyver. That's a good name. If you needed to stop a villain using only two paper clips and a rubber band, you'd call Agent MacGyver. His ability to get out of complex problems with simple tools drew audiences in for seven seasons. After the premise wore thin, MacGyver became more of a pop culture reference than an action star. But CBS thought he was popular enough for a new show. Where is that on-off switch again? <laughs> the original MacGyver actor, Richard Dean Anderson, criticized this reboot for overlooking the insanely loyal fans. While his statement is up for interpretation, shaky ratings and middling reviews of the new show are clear. Even MacGyver can't invent a good revival. Now how the hell did you survive locking yourself in a room full of nerve gas? Number two, Knight Rider. <laughs> All right, hold it. Oh, please stop trying to make another Knight Rider happen. Back in the 1980s, the show was a fun idea. David Hasselhoff starred as Michael Knight, a man who solves problems with his intelligent talking car, Kit. When the short-lived action show ended, there were multiple attempts to bring it back. One of the most notorious was a TV reboot, starring the son of Michael Knight in 2008. Despite the show receiving poor ratings and being cancelled, rumors of a Knight Rider web series persist. But hey, with Siri able to do anything Kit can do, there's no reason to take that idea out of the garage. This could be our last chance, I'm finishing this now. Before we turn off our top pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Nicole, are you okay? Are you okay? Eventually he you know, become a grown-up. I mean, how is he supposed to take care of a family if sometimes it feels like he can't even take care of himself? We're back, bitches! It's a Jersey Shore family vacation coming in 2018. Can't fucking wait! Number one, American Idol. Uh, you were out of tune, you were boring, and it wasn't even good enough for a hotel lobby. This reboot hits a really sour note. There was a time when this singing competition was second to none in the ratings. But after being on top for years, American Idol lost its staying power. In 2016, a massive campaign was launched to let us know the show was ending after 15 seasons. We say to you from Hollywood, good night, America. But all the efforts were made nearly pointless when ABC announced they were bringing back the show in 2018. The ridiculously short revival timeframe is absurd, and early interviews suggest that the format won't be all that different. This puts the boo in reboot. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.